I'm glad that we're kind of highlighting Zed a lot because I know he was obviously a major slayer when it came down to the Hyper Games roster back in Black Ops 3 for most of his time. And it seemed that, you know, when Hyper Games would kind of see success, they're kind of known as an only an online team. And when it came to land, it seemed that Zed was the major player for them. And I think a lot kind of was riding on his shoulders. And I, I think it's really good that he's finally kind of being on this top roster, being on this Elevate squad. He's got a lot of guys around him to kind of provide the extra slang. Uh, but I'm glad that he's kind of, and somebody's kind of finally got that extra joint forward where it's like, you know what, he is very talented. He can, you know, rise and kind of be one of the better players uh, in Europe. And I'm, I'm, I'm just glad that he's kind of has the opportunity to be on one of the top organizations right now for you. You know, and this is where I wonder how much influence Elevate's coach has had on them because we're seeing these wacky, you know, opening strategies. I, I wonder, how, you know, how much involvement the coach has in developing these strategies for them to come over to North America. Uh, you know, because no one else in North America is doing that in the mm -hmm. beginning of the rounds. You're starting off with what, a smoke sniper and respawn or hitting a specific route with an ERAD just to get in the face of someone else that might have an AR. Right. Uh, we're not seeing any other teams do that, and, and that definitely separates Elevate. Now, I, I'm not really seeing it have such a high success rate, mm -hmm. but I think that, um, you know, once they get that, once they get those strategies a little bit more refined, the players more comfortable with. I think that we can start to see some really, really big opening moments for Elevate oh, yeah. over time. Absolutely. I mean, innovation is always necessarily not a bad thing. Uh, it didn't really add to a whole lot. I mean, when they threw those smokes off the start, you know, Granite really was able to get one of the first kills of the round. Didn't really get awarded with a whole lot after that. But, like I said, the innovation is good. I, I think when it comes down to future opponents, I mean, it's going to work eventually. Uh, I mean, when it comes down to it. I know, I know certain teams like to rock snipers. I know in the beginning of the game, uh, on Precinct Uplink, I think Chino would actually sit back statue and watch over Ticket Booth to find the first blood. So, like I said, a lot of these little plays with the sniper can kind of catch a team off guard or kind of catch a certain squad off guard for a time. You know, granted, it's not going to be a strategy that you run with throughout the entire match, but, you know, a few kills here and there, especially when it comes down to uplink, if you have anything crafty that kind of comes out, that can lead to a dunk or lead to a two-point play, which, like I said, when we know what uplinks or when we know what in a game type like uplink, those one-point plays, those two-point dunks can easily define a game just by even one play or one toss that kind of does it for you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick run through, if you could, Landon, of all the classes. See what kind of a weapon matter we're looking at here. The last time I saw Elevate playing on this map, I think that we saw it was either Reedy or Zed taking an ERAD towards, uh, towards the tunnel. And look, there it is. We're seeing Zed with the ERAD. So expect to see his route towards tunnel here. If Cloud9's done any homework at all on this matchup, they should absolutely know that that's what's coming for them. So I'm curious to see if they're going to respond to it accordingly. You see how Cloud9 can, can obviously fare. Like we said, this is not at all a preferred game type for them, by far one of their worst. And when it comes down to Elevate, this is something that they prefer. This is kind of like, in some cases, a homecoming for them. We'll see how obviously this side does try to fare off. When it comes down to throwback up, like it's not normally a high scoring game. A lot of strategy can be kind of coming into this one. And like you said, Zed, the player to watch here off the start. The SMG in hand, the ERAD as well, as he's going to be pushing toward that left side. Early nades out. Looks like they are going to potentially try to check this one, but shots coming in. Zed actually drops at the start, not too fall for the start of Elevate here off the start as three go down. And now it looks like Cloud9 have an opportunity to push this one toward Grandma's side and get an early points. Ricky waits patiently there for the ERAD player, and he's able to shut him down. Uh, looks like we're having a little bit of a technical issue with our audio here. We're going to get it sorted out for you in just a moment. But the first throw goes in. It's intercepted. Nothing connecting there, and Reedy's going to take that on the turnover. His armor protecting him here. Zed is able to find two kills. Big play from him. However, there is still one Cloud9 player, two Cloud9 players just in front of the drone carrier, and he's going to get shut down real quick. Watson starts the gunfight and throws a grenade mid-gunfight. Luckily for him, Assault's going to team kill Lacefield anyway. Try and even up the odds a little bit here. Zed peppering the players on the side of Cloud9. He's able to find one kill. Shawnee and Reedy there to pick up the rest of the slack. Great coordination and team shot there from the side of Elevate. And now that's going to be another possession from them. They move the drone towards middle map from blue side. The drone carrier getting, getting jammer grenaded. That's going to be a tough route for him to take as he has no idea what's on the other side of Soda. There's a lot of opportunities to get these one point tosses through. Reedy firing some good ones. Actually tosses the drone down here. See the big gun engagement. If you can win this one, that's going to be big. Able to get the nice that beat down. That's going to be big. Tries to find another one. Not able to make it happen. Unfortunately, he does drop, and two players drop for the side of Elevate. Lacefield over here over on stairs. And he's going to spot one player over to a bowling toss. That one for a few yards. Ends up training his life. And now Ricky can go for a little bit of a run here over on that blue side. Wouldn't be too out of the ordinary if, he, if we see him try to reset this drone. It looks like he might go ahead and offer to do that. If, unless they can actually get these kills. There it is. Easy beat down from Ricky. Great misdirection, utilizing the fact that that ping is delayed on the minimap in competitive Call of Duty uplink. He's just able to double back and forth, and you know, the enemy team's not really get it, able to get an idea as to exactly where you are around the corner, so you can just get in the melee range and take him out with the drone. Higgs there is going to die to Reedy. 
or Shawnee, excuse me, mid-map. Three kills go in favor of Elevate. The last man standing is Assault. He's just going to hug a corner. He knows he needs to buy his team some time, and that's great. He's able to find one kill, gets tagged up and shut down by Reedy, and now Shawnee is the aggressor here, trying to stay ahead of the drone for his team. Great positioning. However, just around the corner are three Cloud9 players just waiting, and he's able to find two of them. Great shots with the NV4. Not missing a beat. He gets three of them. Someone else from Ev Elevate oh, needs to contribute play. on this push, but no, Lacefield's going to take the drone and reset it. That was such a smart Undoing play and unraveling all of his work. Yeah, Shawnee just absolutely went big, and Lacefield was like, nope, I got the drone, I'm going to throw that one off. But it seems that Elevate already trying to make a play happen, not able to get that drone off is Zed. Shawnee going to be here. If he can win this 1v1 engagement, he can try to go for the one-point pause, but players starting to stack in. Cloud9 has rotated, and yet again, that drone being tossed off to the wayside. As they're going to put that one over in blue. But potentially could do the exact same thing they previously did. You know, wait for the, the kills to come through. Like I said, use that drone. A little bit of a distraction, but it seems that they start to go down. Aix obviously in unison resets the drone, and now with that in mind, Elvet have to wrap back. Shawnee and Reedy closing out those players that were just hovering around blue, trying to waste their time. You can tell they're just running the clock out and trying to get let their team get into a better position. It's not going to work out for them too well, though. Lacefield and Ricky coming up off spawn. Find two kills. Assault catches Zed. Shawnee, though, the only last man standing for Elevate, trying to make a difference on middle map, and that he does. Finding two kills, taking a player right off of that power position. That's Ricky that gets shut down. Still, though, kills going in favor of Cloud9. The drone not really in a favorable position for either team. They're just kind of getting, they're just trying to establish some map pressure here. But neither team is able to sway it into anyone's direction. Shawnee has been just absolutely destroyed when it comes down to just combinations as well as Zed's overall slaying. But Shawnee is doing his absolute best to try to make sure the scorers come in. But it seems that certain one of you won engagements that Cloud9 are winning, some clutch gunfights that they are happening to have going in their favor is what's kind of kept this game at a level playing field. Of course, still 0-0. Zero to zero. Like I mentioned earlier, throwback up like not really a high scoring game when it comes down to it. But if you can start to get a sequence of kills, maybe even on the C9's current side, make them start spawning over inside of field. You can get a sequence of scorers to go through. But it seems that the last 40 seconds as it starts to tick down into this first side. Zed thrown in his hands, tosses that one down, and tries to make a little more map control as Elevate tried to get at least a little bit of an advantage after this first five minutes. Here it is, Zed taking point through bowling. bowling. He's able to find one kill. He's going to be met with another Cloud9 player just around the corner. This should be intercepted if he goes for it. No one from Cloud9 has to, though, as it whiffs just under the portal. Assault responds with two kills. Now Cloud9, all they have to do is take it over to Blue. They could push it up through Born or Barn, or they could just play the corner and reset it just like they have been for the past five minutes. Ten seconds remaining, though. They're going to make this last-ditch effort at a, at a possession. Still 0-0 with five minutes into the game. This could be our first point. The one-point play sinks, and Cloud9 is up on the board. So we're going into our second half with Cloud9 up 1-0 against Elevate. And on the side of Elevate, one thing you really got to point out that kind of stands out at the moment is Watson's performance in this series. I mean, I understand that there are going to be failed attempts at the objective in respawn game modes, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just have to be bait, and it doesn't work out that well for you in your stats column. But this is something we've seen throughout the whole series from him. Yeah, and that's kind of maybe kind of been the, the thorn in the camel's back, but we'll see if potentially the thorn in the camel's back. I don't know. Is I'm, that what it I'm, is? I'm tired. Just leave me alone. Just anyway, run that by me Nate's one more time. And Zed starts to throw that one toward underpass. We'll see if he can maybe start to make a few things happen. Of course, the impact starting we be felt from the C9 side. Watson over toward bike path. Three start to fall, and now Ricky with that drone is looking for his teammate's success. It looks like they're going to be making a little bit of a push here over toward back bowling. Drone thrown forward, and it's up to Elevate to try to hold this one strong to go down, and Shawnee's left. He has gone clutch before. He was able to find one, tries to find the second, maybe not able to make it go through, but Ricky is going to set up for the one-point toss as now C9 are up by a full possession. Wish we had a heat map of where these players are getting kills. I'd love to see how many kills Shawnee has in this part of the map and around, like, middle, uh, taking people off of those power positions. But Reedy staying alive, finding that kill onto Assault. He knows he's about to get swarmed here. Cloud9 smelling blood. Aix is able to find Watson. No surprise there. We've seen him spending a lot of time on respawn. One coming up from bowling, though. That is an elevate player who's just looking for aches here. He knows that they're close. There we go. Reads and reacts. They're able to find two kills. And now Zed has access to rewind. One player on middle map just on the opposite side of middle train. He's able to find that one. Tags him up. Gets the assist. Shawnee, again, contributing a whole lot to this team. And now we're seeing Zed take the drone down middle map, going for the one-point play. Hopefully connects with this oh, one. Goodness, if you're an Elevate one. fan, you're not happy with the two one-point plays we've seen miss. This would be a tie game if they were able to connect with those. Watson's able to go big, and he's able to dunk it in. So a massive play there for Watson. Unfortunately, as the toss does miss, Elevate will obviously take the rebound. 
They're able to knock that one through. As three go down yet again, this could be another sequence of scores coming in from the Elevate side as they try to go here over toward Grandma's. The entry kills need to be happening here from Radies. He's trying to shut a few down. Gets one, and this could be another dunk for Elevate. So nice sequence of plays for them as they've completely started to dominate this game. Of course, only one overall advantage here, but still a nice job there from Elevate as they get those two secret scores. All right, so there we saw Zed spend the rewind. His idea was to try and stay alive in the enemy base, which is what you really want to do when you're when you're rallying on this side, is stay alive in and around Lime and Grandma's house. However, he's going to get overwhelmed. Two players in front of him. He loses the initial gunfight and isn't really able to make anything following the use of that payload. Assault, however, is going to do assault things and go on a four streak on mid-map, taking two players away from that power position. And now, you can see drone control on the side of Cloud9, and they have to attack this next wave of Elevate players. And Elevate is kind of lingering on their base for the time being. Aix, between 13 and 18, trying to make a little bit of an impact, but he ends up dropping. Of course, you got to keep in mind, the Ricks definitely can play a huge factor. Overdrive earned for Reedy. He tosses that one forward, able to find one. Player over inside of Grandma doesn't check. Unfortunately, he is going to, going to head and get pinched. So, like I said, you got to keep in mind, last two minutes of this game, Rogue could definitely come into play. Right now, Assault has that active camo. Ricky also getting very close to that overdrive from the side of Elevate. Looks like Reedy getting close to that overdrive, and I believe it's either Watson, who's kind of struggling in this game, put out the active camo, but he needs to go big here. He ends up dropping, and now Assault is going to use the active camo. But they see him. He is going to be tagged, and he oh. ends up dropping. So just like that, the active camo is not going to be used for a scoring opportunity. It's just going to get that drone up toward the portal, but Ricky also falls as well, and that's going to be a good defensive play out of the side of Elevate. Yeah, and see, that's a great stop there. In the recent patch, we saw that Active Camo received a little bit of a nerf in terms of its, uh, its balancing to where when you have the objective in your hands, a flag, a drone, whatever it may be, your payload bar actually drains, what is it, two oh, no. or three times as fast. So we're seeing it come into play here now as well with the overdrive, but <laughs> he's able to get there so quickly, it doesn't matter. That's a one-point play. Elevate is, again, finding themselves in a commanding lead in this game. Punishing Cloud9 for the weakness and uplink. They just kept to hold on for a little over a minute if they want to close out this map. Elevate doing a great job at clearing out the base and moving the drone forward. The great overdrive play coming in from Rooney as he dips and dives and is able to get that one toss in, one point toss in. Of course, if they would have knocked all of them in, they'd actually be up seven to two, but still C9 still has an opportunity to close this one out. Actually, it looks like Rigby used from Aix as he ends up dropping. So the rewind not coming into too much fruition. But at this point, Elevate. They just want to kind of keep the drone in their base and just make sure they get the slang done. They can easily close this one out, reset it when they need to, and make C9 kind of come to them. And if once they do, they can just reset the drone and make them bait it out. This is exactly what Cloud9 was doing in the first half here, just kind of wrapping that drone over to the blue side, wasting the time of Cloud9 here. And, you know, oh, time is not a luxury accident. that they have right now. They have 30 seconds to come back. And with Shawnee finding those two pieces, bringing the drone over to blue side, that's got to be trouble. Watson coming up on the flank, drop shots, assault. He gets traded after, but the distraction that he caused there was more than enough of a contribution. Shawnee and Reedy again just dominating with their NV4s, able to find two kills. And they're just making it look easy in the slaying column. Yeah, and this one kind of looks to be wrapped up at this point. I mean, just an overall great job from Elevate at certain points. I mean, using their rigs very effectively. As Ricky actually is going to use his overdrive rocks as he is going to take a few shots and does drop in the end. So trying to get the dunk is Ricky, but unfortunately for him, it's not going to fall, and it seems that Elevate. We're going to walk away with this game number three, five to two. Kind of an expected game for them to win. I mean, I think we would have been really surprised if we saw C9 actually take that. But back-to-back -back games for Elevate. And now the EU team up two to one. Right, so if you're Elevate right now, you're feeling really good, recovering well from that punishing hard point. They come into the search and destroy. I'll play Cloud9 a little bit later on. We see dominating performances from the likes of Zed and Reedy late game, and they come up clutch and win that round 11. Now we get into the uplink, and they just outclass Cloud9, really. Um, we saw... What, some big plays out of Shawnee, for sure. Many multi-kills coming mm -hmm. across their side. Great NV4s on the side of Elevate, and it's showing there on throwback. So now we're going to get into our next hard point.